Well, the powerful stock market rally of 2019 took a breather today, one day after the S&P 500 and the Nasdaq Composite closed at record levels. Earnings from some very big corporations were not enough to push stocks higher in today's session. And by the close, the Dow Industrial Average was down 59 points. We're at 26,597. The Nasdaq was down 18. The S&P slid by six. But look at how the market has come this year so far. The Dow, the S&P, the Nasdaq, all up double digits. And four sectors have gained 20% or more, led by information technology. But is the rally sustainable? Bob Pisani takes a look. We are not out of the woods just yet. Earnings season has been, for the most part, pretty positive. Companies are beating by much wider margins than they usually do. Beyond the earnings beat, we see some signs of the slowdown in China bottoming out. Europe is showing at least some signs of stability. It's not out of the woods either. And a still very patient Federal Reserve. Well, it's pretty good news overall. The question is, what's next? So we've now heard from the banks. They have been okay, not great in their earnings. Industrials have been pretty good overall. And a smattering of consumer names like Kimberly Clark and Procter & Gamble also have been better than expected. So to keep the momentum going, we need to hear now from different sectors. First off, from technology. That's the main play on global growth. Then second, from energy names like Chevron and Exxon on Friday. Oil prices are now above $65 a barrel. That was $50 in the end of December. And especially we need to hear from health care. Remember, suddenly that's become the market's problem child. Health care is the second biggest sector, making up 16% of the S&P 500. And remember this Medicare for all thing? That's thrown a monkey wrench into long-term earnings. But equally important is the Democrats promising hearings on drug prices in general. So we definitely need to hear from Pfizer and from Merck and from Eli Lilly and what they've got to say about how that's going to impact them. And what else is missing from this rally? Volume and volatility. If you think Wall Street's celebrating, try calling around on a trading desk. You're not going to hear any champagne corks popping about new highs. The stock traders want to see more serious action. Nobody's scrambling to buy stocks. The volume's still low. And overall, the volatility isn't that high either. The rally also needs to broaden out a little bit. It was a little better today, but the market is being pushed up by a small group of super performers. We need more stocks at new highs. For Nightly Business Report, I'm Bob Pisani at the New York Stock Exchange.